Hi all of you, welcome back to yet another video. A lot of you have asked me that from where I have learned Rust programming language for building a smart contract. So this is my ultimate resource. Whatever I have learned for building the smart contract, for building any kind of feature functionality or any application program, that's all I learned from here. So this is your ultimate resource if you really want to learn Rust programming language. But before you start learning Rust, I would encourage you that don't straight away focus on Rust. So if you are new to programming, don't jump straight away in Rust because that's going to be a huge nightmare for you to learn this programming language. So if you are a complete beginner, I would suggest you first focus on the JavaScript because no matter whether you want to become a Web2 developer or a Web3 developer, if you know JavaScript, it would be very easy for you to build any type of application on the blockchain or on the Web2 space because you can use that programming language for backend, frontend, connections, writing the smart contract, testing the smart contract and even the salty programming language which you're going to write the smart contract for the Ethereum chain. It's also follow the similar structure what you will learn in javascript so if you're completely beginner new to programming i would encourage you don't touch rust focus on javascript and learn javascript once you learn javascript after that you can focus on this because once you understand javascript it won't take you more than 20 days if you're a beginner you can easily able to master every single thing in the rust because it has a similar architecture similar similar data structure similar data model the only thing is differ in the function define the way you can call the function the way you can define the variables but that everything is same so before you jump straight away move ahead i would encourage you to first master one programming language that's a javascript after that come here so now let me give you that what are the things you have to cover because this is the place where i've learned everything and in the last two video i show you a couple of smart contract which i have written in the soil in the rust program language so if you haven't watched those videos so make sure to check that so first thing all you have to do is come here and follow the instruction which they are telling you to do and it has become very easy for you if you are good with javascript so if you come back to the start instruction so we are on the instruction section so here you will find that what is this it will talk about that how the students can learn how the about the companies how it's open source who is the book for and everything you will find all the details the history and all everything come back to the installation because that's the first thing we have to do here you will get the guidance that how you can install so we have this scroll which we can call it and we can simply install in our system once you're done with that you can simply write your hello world here you will find that how you can write your first program how you can create the directory how we can simply write the very first function so this is the function it's it's a quite similar like a javascript the only thing is that it has a different matter we have a console log it has a print so you have to know about it then you have to know about the architecture that how what are the architecture of the functions so you have to know about it so simply come back here go through this it will make sense go to the second section and here you will find all the information which you can have a look so the best part of this particular documentation is that they have taught you every single thing from start to end so you can take one step at a time once you're done with the get started thing then you can come back to the programming and guess gaming and here all you have to do is to follow the instruction and try to do the practice so this is the simple function they have written they have used this one and they have simply call this particular one so simply follow this then go to the next step see what they are talking about then come back to the variables and mutability then check how you can define the variable how you can update how you can declare then we have the data types what are the data types we have and how we can guess how we can define that one let's talk about the you can see we have the length the best part of this and this is the thing which you have to keep in mind because if you master this bit you're going to be a very effective smart contract developer in terms of data saving in terms of function call so this one is very important so data type learn about it then learn about the functions what type of function we have how we can call it how we can declare it then we learn about the comments how we can give comment it's quite similar and we have a control flow so you can see if and statement it's literally the same there are there is a few differences in the syntax like in we have a console log we have print then come back to the what is ownership learn about it so they have bunch of things again it's a quite huge documentation i would encourage you to come and have some time here some spend some time here try to understand that what are things you have but before you start with rust and if you are interested in solana development then only i would encourage you to focus here 
otherwise i want you to be stick to the ethereum chain evm compatible chain where you can build the smart contract using the like soity so this is going to be your ultimate resource if you really want to learn the rust programming language and that's what i want to encourage you but again i want to highlight one thing before i end this video that if you truly interested in rust then first learn the javascript once you master javascript this program is going to be piece of cake for you and you will master within 15 or 20 days so with that i'm ending this video hope you guys have got an idea that what resource you have to follow and from where you have to learn rust so with that i'm ending this video have a wonderful day. bye bye